Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading. Their true intentions plus next moves. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, personal readings are now 50% off and the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards. Pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into it. Hello, beautiful number one. Welcome to your reading. Their true intentions plus next moves. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, personal readings are now 50% off and the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. I can clearly see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to the heart. And with the heart energy, let me just point out, the heart is about love. It's about beauty. So this is ruled by the planet Venus. Venus rules over Taurus and Libra. So that earth, solid, loyal Taurus is there coming through um, as far as how this person perceives you. And Libra, that social uh, Libra energy, air energy is coming through as well. But let me point out that what I'm picking up is that it is possible from an imaginal point of view to sense the heart as a place. Either you are there within the realm of expansion and compassion or you have drifted somewhere else and there is no in-between. You see, because it is common for you to leave this archetype center without realizing it. And as the world, with its seductive twists and turns, offers a frequent departure, you may even become a stranger to the landscape of the heart, leaving it vacant for long stretches of a time. Let me just point out that this is like expansion, knowing, and gentle clarity. I feel like this person is thinking about like some sort of communication or action or something that went on between you two. And it's like a tangled energy. It's um, I'm picking up um, that that this is like a betrayal that came that is coming through quite clear. But number one, this card encourage you to move past the layers of life's tangles and knots and enter into the wild and sacred center of the self because the most precious throne and the galaxy is awaiting your return and that is your heart. So I feel like this person knows that you are compassionate, you're warm, you're forgiving. But what they don't realize is that once you draw the line, once you say enough is enough, then that is bond, okay? So their intentions are to get closer to you, to move towards you emotionally, wanting you to connect with them even more deeper than you already are. So let's get more insight. And what is the energy? Ooh, whoa. The tower card just said, hey, this is the energy, and I'm going to tell it like it is with the tower energy. This is about betrayal. This is about an upheaval. Something happened in this relationship, an unwanted change, ruin, disgrace, and violence. Now, this violence could be mental, spiritual, emotional, or financial. And this is something that this person is thinking about right now. And this is something you've experienced, some sort of challenge with, you know, a violence in your life. And I feel like there's just so much you're going to allow another person to like do or say to you without you standing up for yourself. And so let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What is the energy as it does relate You have here the Knight of Cups. So with the Knight of Cups energy, which is quite intriguing, look at the heart. She's playing the heart here. 
You see that? That's a very strong confirmation, especially since the Knight of Cups is laying right here next to the card you were naturally drawn to. So number one, just starting out here in your reading, it is extremely accurate. Here with the Knight of Cups energy, that is about your emotions and water energy. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces is significant. And it's significant there in the top placements of your chart or their chart. But with the Knight of Cups energy, uh, this is like a Prince Charming. I feel someone that is in your vortex right now that you find or you will find to be very charming, coming, coming closer to you, this charming person. This person is offering romance and even a proposal. And this person here that you came to the reading for, they think about this energy. They compare themselves to other people and they wonder if they are good enough for you. They wonder if, you know, you find them to be charming or if you find them someone that you want to spend, you know, the rest of your life connected to. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. You have here the goddess Azoki Tayal, gratitude. So with gratitude showing up, I feel like this person definitely um, is, they're thankful for the connection with you. This taught them a big lesson about how to treat someone and they feel like without the experience with you, they would not feel more grateful because you give this warm essence of gratitude and appreciation. I feel like that's something that you do express all the time, how grateful you are, how you appreciate just the simple things in life. And this person recognizes this energy about you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? So many things remind me of you. So here, this is a clear message coming through that when they're out and they're in public, they're looking for things in people, your personality traits, characteristics, you know, the way that you dress, the way that you look, they are trying to find you in other people. So certain parts of people, certain styles of dress, the way, you know, a person may speak, the cadence of their voice. You know, even perfumes that are in the store, flowers, you are always on this person's mind. And I'm getting a clear message here that they want to come towards you. They want to be closer to you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? Destroyer. With the destroyer energy? This is very confirmative, especially here since it's laying next to the tower card. They know that right now you're in your era of life where you're releasing what is potentially destructive and you're preparing for a new life. They know that. And they're very concerned that you may be moving on without them. I feel like there's an, there's an, an intoxication energy with this person with destructive power. And sometimes they speak negative. They speak kind of critical, you know, and they have the tendency of destroying others' dreams or potentials by the way that they speak. They have this sharp tongue and they'll say things before they think about it and then they'll end up regretting it. So I'm getting a clear energy of like regret coming from this person, or a feeling of loss. They are in their feelings big time because they feel like, hey, I tried to play a really good person, you know. I destroyed something that was genuine. And so that's what I'm picking up here. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what is the energy as it does relate? You have here acts. They're so concerned about you cutting them off completely. Breakup. This is a breakup, separation energy. But you're just... You're just on this mission here to stop the pattern. You want to stop the pattern. And they notice you've pulled back your energy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you've been giving this person the silent treatment lately. And this is where they have the audacity to feel like abandoned. As if you've done something to them. 
when clearly they introduce that energy of ghosting to you, you know, trying to pretend that they're not interested or that they don't want to, they don't see you or see your value. They see your value and you've raised your standard. So you took back your power, you know, you're not reaching out as much. And so that's something that has them scratching their head and wondering like, what is the status of this relationship and will it stand the test of time? And so beautiful number one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, leave a comment below. I love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two. Welcome to your reading. Their true intentions plus next moves. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, personal readings are now offered to you for 50% off. The link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. I can clearly see here that your energy, you're naturally drawn to the Eros. And with the Eros energy being your energetic card of choice, let me just point out, this is about passion, playfulness, and sexual health. So this is the energy that's coming through. And also the clear message that I'm getting here is that, you know, even though the Eros, you know, can be, de be, de be depicted as like unbridled sexuality and eroticism, there's a more contemplative understanding of this archetype energy, which leads you to the root of desire itself. So there's a clear message coming here, unexpected message coming here for you, number one. And Spirit wants you to know, wants you to ask yourself, what do you long for? Why are you awakened by love? And what makes you hesitate in the face of intimacy? Because the ero reconnects you with the primal longing to merge with another human being. Nature, music, art, plants, food, or anything that we perceive we are separate from. The Eros allows you to momentarily unite your heart, embraces otherness, and in doing so, you further understand your own life force. And this card reveals an inevitable initiation into love's labyrinth. And you may find yourself swirling in a new territory of desire and sensuality. So explore the labyrinth with a curious and honest heart. And remember that though the way it sits, you are always being led towards its center. Oh, Ooh. I feel like this person is obsessed with you. I do. I feel like they're very passionate about you. It's about your energy. And it's, I feel like they're obsessed about your energy. Just you being you, not you naturally being you. They see you as someone that is really real. With passion coming through, there's that fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. In the top placements of your chart or theirs, that's a confirmation in the reading. So you offer enthusiasm. You know, you have a positive outlook and this disposition. So this is something that they are obsessed about. Your um, characteristic energy. Let's get more insight. You have here the Three of Pentacles. So with the Three of Pentacles, this is physical and earth, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. This person definitely sees you as someone that's great with for teamwork, collaboration, they feel like you um, have great skill. And if, if you work with them, they feel like you're going to like be awesome and do like a quality job, you know, because you put your all into whatever you do and you do your best. And this is something that they do recognize. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? You have here the goddess Niwa, and this is creation, so creativity, fire, energy again, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, honey. They're passionate about you. They see you as a go-getter, a creator, meaning that you can turn 
your visions into reality. You know what I'm saying? They see you as being very focused on what you want, what you want to do with your time, with your energy. You're not going to waste your time playing games with them or any other person. It's really about you connecting passionately, honestly, um, and being real, or you don't want a connection at all. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? My life is not as together as it seems. So with this energy coming through, this person feels like you want like you want um, more, you know what I'm saying? This person wants to get, wants, I feel like they want to get closer to you. You know what I'm saying? And this person that is on your mind, their life is not as together as they would want it to be or like as it seems to be, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you judge yourself a lot, number two. I feel like you feel like your life is not, as together. You're very critical and hard on yourself. So there's a clear message coming through here from spirit for you to just relax. Just chill. Stop being so hard on yourself. You're in the right place at the right time. Your life is completely together and you don't have to go so fast. You know what I'm saying? Slow down. Things are working out really in your favor right now. And the universe is conspiring for your good. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? Their true intentions or next moves? You have warrior here. See, there's strength, skill, discipline, you know, and toughness of will that they do recognize in you. There's this heroism, sort of stoic vibe that you do give off. And there's like a self-sacrifice that you have in conquering your ego. You know, you're very humble. You don't try to be too boastful and too like you know, out there, I'm, I'm picking up that, you know, sometimes this, this person, sometimes this person has the tendency to teeter on both the warrior end of the spectrum. So they, they may have, have the potential to like trade their ethical principles for victory at any cost. You know what I'm saying? So maybe do things that they wouldn't normally do just to win. So pay attention to this energy. Don't fall for anything that is below your standards, or that is in opposition of your integrity. So let's get more insight. You have here healthy choices. Making healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. So yeah, I feel like this is how they see you and this is how they want to approach you. <laughs> they want to match your energy at all costs, right? They want you to see them as being like happy, being healthier, doing things better. So this is a clear message from spirit. You've been on a journey of making healthier choices, choosing high vibrational plant-based foods, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. And you're eating things of in a raw nature, you know, uncooked, where they have all of their nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and just all of the life force. So by you eating in this way, it's raising your vibrational frequency, allowing you to tap into that greater version of who you are, allowing you to tap into your intuitive nature, allowing you to hear the voice of God, to be guided by the cosmic GPS, and for you to make even smoother easier and better life choices. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? And you have here the tower. So with the tower energy, this is about an upheaval. This is about something that took place. Um, this is about change, unwanted change like ruin, disgrace, upheaval, and violence here in this energy. So maybe something took place such as dishonesty, betrayal. They think about this. They think about their actions, their behaviors, their past behavior as well, and how it is affecting the current behavior within this relationship with you. And so they're very conscious of that energy. So I feel like they want to change that narrative 
and how you may be perceiving them and how you may see them. So they want to do something different. Offer a brighter perspective. They want you to see them from a different perspective. Beautiful number two. This does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three. Welcome to your reading. Their true intentions plus next moves. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like a personal reading, I offer my personal readings to you now for 50% off and the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. I can clearly see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to the sword. And with the sword card, this is a clear indication of their intentions to communicate to you, to reach out to you, to talk to you more. The sword energy does represent the intellect and the air zodiac signs. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini are in the top placements of their chart or yours as a confirmation. And here with the sword energy, I can definitely see this is about social media. So they are watching your social media presence with private accounts, spying on you, seeing looking to see what you're doing, and then taking that information and going back and gossiping about you. This person is spying on you for real with private accounts. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are their true intentions? And next moves. Look at the Ace of Swords coming out right before your eyes. So with the Ace of Swords and you we're naturally drawn to the sword card. This is a very strong confirmation. The Ace of Swords also represents a new conflict. It represents a new conflict within this relationship connection. So with that information coming through, there's a clear message for you that if you have to communicate with this person, communicate with kindness and tact because it's really about vibration and frequency and you always want your vibration to be high or don't communicate with them at all. With the Ace of Swords energy, this is about a new idea. They're trying to get a new idea, something new to bring towards you, discuss with you. I feel like what you want in this connection is mental clarity. So let's get more insight. I'm so grateful that your reading is starting out extremely accurate, number three, because this is very rare. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? You have the boat. And with the boat card coming through, this is a clear message of you receiving what you need. There's a clear message coming through that there's something you need right now, number three, that you are receiving that. There is progression for you here on your journey, okay? There is a level up energy coming through. That news, that information is arriving. This person is very concerned that you will be moving on, but they have closure issues. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? Their true intentions, next move. So with the storyteller, nice confirmation coming through. Extremely accurate energy. The storyteller, clear message. They are bringing something to you. Want to share some information with you. I feel like this is going to be long and drawn out story with them trying to tell you and convince you something of something, wanting you to see them in a different light and in a new perspective. I feel like this person does have the tendency to just make up tales with that can actually harm others. So again, there's that information of watching your social media, gathering as much information from you as they possibly can, wanting to know who you're out with, are you dating someone? What are you thinking? They're watching your written posts as well or any memes that you may be posting because they want to get inside your mind. They want to know what it is you are doing. How do you feel about them? Will you give that clue on your social media pages? So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? What is the energy? And you have here, yep, the King of Cups. 
The King of Cups, this is about emotions and feelings. They are heavily in their feelings over you. The cup energy does rule over the water zodiac signs. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces are in the top placements of their chart or yours as a confirmation here in the reading. But specifically here with this King of Cups showing through, let me just say this. I feel like you are very supportive. Okay, you have been very supportive to the people that you're close to, the people that you care about. You are that person. You've tolerated a lot when it comes to relationships, and this person feels this way about you. They are banking on your empathy. They are banking on the fact that you have empathy towards them, and that way they can get closer to you emotionally. There's a clear message coming through for you to trust your intuition, number three, because with that intuition and that law of discernment, you know what's going on with this person. You know whether or not they are lying or telling the truth. You are guided by the cosmic GPS. Trust your intuition. The intuition is ruled by the moon. The moon rules over the zodiac sign of cancer, and it also represents the mother. So the mother is coming through quite strong. The mother has a heavy influence here on this relationship connection. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Let's see what card. I'm going to go with this one that's on top, and it has, we will be together again. So with this energy, yes, this is someone that wants to make sure that they are connected with you, stay with you, but very concerned about the future, which is why they're stalking that social media page. This person is saying that you guys will be together again emotionally, intimately, physically, that, re that this relationship will be where it once was. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? What is the energy? You have here the Seven of Wands. So with the Seven of Wands coming through, this person does know that there are challenges when it comes to this relationship, but you have courage, number three. The Seven of Wands is about you protecting your energy. You have your self-defenses in place and you are not worried about anything as you should not be. You're guided, you're loved, and you are protected. And you know that. You know when to call on your angels and your spirit guides. So you have the clear answers here. Thank you, spirit. The seven of wands is also about this person worried about the competition. Friends, friendly relationships you may have, platonic relationships, romantic relationships. I feel like they are worried about those people getting around you, becoming more closer to you, and then therefore you will your attention will be on a new set of people, new ideas here with the Ace of Swords, doing your own thing and cutting them off completely. And so beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, leave a comment below because I love reading your comments and they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.